Looking for some best productivity books to read as a business owner? Well, there are many business and productivity books that you can read, but I've specifically chosen three must-read productivity books, and I'll share about them in this video coming up. Hi, this is Tweo Shinbi, leadership and business coach. Here we help business owners, leaders, entrepreneurs with business tips, productivity tips on how to run your business and enjoy your life. If you want videos like this, please subscribe to this channel. Now let's talk about productivity. Productivity, especially in this current time, is uh, something that everybody's talking about. How can I be more effective and productive at what I do and when I coach people or train people there are a few things that I always try to get right first before we talk about the hacks and the tips and the things to do with your apps that I really try to lay as a foundation and so if I was to be asked you know what books would I recommend there are three books that I would first of all recommend because I believe that as a good coach, the first thing you want to help somebody with is their mindset. You want to shift their mindset so that they really understand what it is that they're getting into so that when it comes to the activities and the hacks and all those things, they've got the right mindset around it. And so in this video, I want to share with you the three books that I would strongly recommend you read first before we start talking about apps and hacks and all those type of things because I believe that these are so essential. So let's get right into it. What are these three books? Now if there's anybody who's been trained by me or coached by me, they would know that the first book I'll always recommend is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Now why would I, do I always suggest this book? The reason is because Stephen Covey did a fantastic job at really helping us have a paradigm shift. And for many of you that maybe have read the book, you know that he was the one that made that term popular about the importance of having a paradigm shift before we think about behavior change. And what did he mean by that? Now we use the word mindset because, you know, Carol Dweck has made that more popular that we need to either have a, we either have a fixed mindset or we have a growth mindset, but it's the same thing. And the essence of this book, if you haven't read it, is all in habit one, about being proactive. And what uh, Stephen Covey, what he helped us understand was that as adults, it is our responsibility to choose our response to all situations. And so there are always two things I try to help people understand. Number one is the definition of what it means to be proactive, which is that we are each responsible for our own choices. And that's something that in, the, in this 21st century, some people you know, accept it. Some people, they still want to look for something to blame. Um, I just can't do this. You don't understand my situation. And I always tell people, well, you can say yes and you can say no, even if it might get you into trouble. The second thing that Stephen Covey highlights is a very important concept, especially in this current situation. I'm recording this during this pandemic with the coronavirus, and it's a very important point for all of us to remind ourselves that there is something called the circle of concern, and there's something called the circle of influence. The circle of concern, we can't really change it. What's going on right now in our economy, there are a lot of things that we just can't change. But the circle of influence, now that's the area that we can change. And so it's all about taking ownership to be proactive in your circle of influence. And that's the reason why I will get the person to read that book, The Whole Seven Habits, All the Habits Are Essential. But that first habit, if that's not there, where the person I'm working with is choosing their response, is they're realizing that it is their responsibility to be proactive, then we can't really work together. And so before we start talking about productivity, you've got to realize that you are responsible for your own choices. So that's the first book. Now, the second book that I'll recommend, is kind of like a lengthy book, but it's the book Principles 
by Ray Dalio. Now, Ray Dalio is an astonishing investor. You can read up on him. He has done an amazing job with Bridgewater, his company, and he has learnt that at the end of the day, life is built on principles. And so the reason why I'll get uh, anybody to read this book first before we start talking about productivity hacks is because he was able to explain that in life, there are certain things that you first of all just have to accept around how things work and that they're principle based. And he shows this diagram, which I'm showing, gonna show you right now. And in the diagram, he shows how the journey that we all take as we're about to go about our audacious goals, as you can see from uh, the diagram, he shows how we take that step of, yes, creating audacious goals, but then we're more likely to, first of all, encounter failure. And from those failures, we should derive some learning principles and then consider how we can improve and then move on to the audacious goals. But he even breaks it down further into the simplicity of setting goals normally enables us to encounter problems and then we should diagnose what the solutions are, design and craft another means of attaining that goal and then start doing that. And you can see from the diagram that if I'm working with somebody who wants to be more productive and yet they don't have that perspective in mind, which is that, yes, you want to get here, you want to grow your business, yes, you want to grow your team, but for many of us, we don't factor in that we are actually going to face failure and that we're going to face problems. You know, And if you're working with somebody who hasn't accepted that, then they give up. And so I would suggest that the person reads this book, really understands the concepts and the frameworks because that's just how life is. And then what you find is that by the time you're now suggesting some of these productivity tips and things like that, they know that, yes, I'm going to try it. I'm most likely going to fail, but I'm going to keep on deriving ways of how to push through so I can come to that end goal. So that's the second book that I'll uh, recommend. Now, the third book that I'll recommend is Atomic Habits by James Clear. Now, this is one book that I would strongly recommend that everybody reads because out of all the books that I have read, and as you can see, I've got quite a number of books, uh, this book made something that many of us don't realize when it comes to setting goals and objectives and things that we want to grow in. He hit the nail on something that many people haven't talked about, which is about the goal should be to derive our identity. What is it that we're trying to achieve? And he, he, he helps us understand that, yes, you want to be productive, but really what you want to do is that you want to become a productive person for the rest of your life. And so what James Clare, what he wrote, even at the beginning of the book, and I'm just going to read it to you so you can understand why this book is a mindset shift that you need to have under your belt before you start working on other things. Let me just read this for you and I'll show you on the screen. There are three layers of behavior change, a change in your outcomes, a change in your processes, or a change in your identity. Outcomes are about what you get. Processes are about what you do. Identity is about what you believe. When it comes to building habits that last, when it comes to building a system of 1% improvements, the problem is not one level is better or worse than another. The problem is the direction of change. So as you can see, this book helps you to understand that yes, we can set outcome goals. Yes, we can set process goals. But the one thing that we perhaps don't always talk about is what do we want to become? What's our identity? And so the reason why this book becomes pivotal to really understanding it is the is the question, you know, who do you want to become? Who are you becoming? And that's why this book becomes a good book to read to lay that foundation that is not just that I want to grow my business because perhaps that is the process of something that you're trying to achieve but in doing that who are you becoming 
and he gives four simple ways of not only deriving productivity hacks and things but more about what eventually what are the habits that you need to start demonstrating in order to become what you want to become and he gives them in four simple laws law number one was make it obvious law two make it attractive law three make it easy and law four make it satisfying so as you can see these three books that i recommend are not just books that are going to help you be productive but these are books that can help you be a productive person for the rest of your life because at the end of the day what you want to instill are certain habits that's going to help you be consistently productive for the rest of your life so question for the day what mindset have you adopted when it comes to productivity if you have an answer please leave a comment below so there you have it three best books on productivity that i would suggest that you read first and if you haven't yet downloaded the five core daily habits planner which is going to help you in a simple way to apply what you read in these books you can either copy the url in the show notes below or you can copy the url into your browser and download it and start putting that into practice in a very simple way that can help you become a person that is productive. For now, this is Toyo Shinbi, your leadership and business coach for Business Leaders Coach to your success.